friends here who are Republicans would really devote a lot of their efforts in trying to convince our Republican members of Congress to take up and pass comprehensive immigration reform. I say that... I say that first of all for the good of the country. This is not a nation that can forever have 11 million people living in the shadows. We cannot have 11 million people deprived of the rights of our citizens. And yes, they came here illegally, and our proposal has stiff fines, 10 years. It's tough. It's not amnesty. This was the, developed by four Republicans and four Democrats in the United States Senate. So first of all, for the country. Second of all, for the Republican Party. My friends, look at the demographics in California, in Arizona, across this country. Last year in Texas, for the first time in Texas history, the majority of, uh, of high school graduates were, quote, non-white. Okay, you can do the demographics. And anybody that believes that it is any different with Hispanics than it was with the Irish or the Italians or the Poles or the Jews or any other wave of immigrants that came to this country, they want recognition. They want recognition. They want their place. And they want to have a, a chance to become citizens of this country. So if we don't, Republicans, get this done, we're going to go the way of the Whigs. And I want us to... Uh, and, and, and I don't want that to happen because I'm proud of the Republican Party. I'm proud of the principles and values that we hold. I'm proud to be a party of Teddy Roosevelt and Ronald Reagan and, 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 other, and Abraham Lincoln. But we're going to have to we're going to have to address this issue. And unfortunately, many of our friends in the House, who I am very respectful of, haven't gotten that message.